Hello. Uh, today we're going to talk about the definition of impression trays and then we're going to talk about the parts of impression trays and finally we're going to talk about the classification of impression trays. Okay, let's start off with the definition of impression trays. They are used to carry uh, impression materials while making an impression in the patient's mouth. So this is uh, the impression tray. We have upper impression tray and we have the lower impression tray. Can you see? The difference they are different in shape so this is the upper uh, impression tray and this is the lower impression tray a, a tray parts of the impression let's talk about the uh, parts of the impression tray okay uh, we have the handle which holds the tray in the patient's mouth so uh, the main use of the handle is uh, to hold the tray in the patient's mouth like this okay so here we record the teeth and it all so it's used to hold the tray in the patient's mouth okay this is the handle then we have the body okay this is the body of the uh, impression tray okay uh, it has the floor area and the flange area so this is this is the flange area okay and this is the body uh, the floor uh, this is the floor area and this is the flange area okay we have impression uh, so let's talk about the maxillary impression tray uh, it's used we record the palate okay by uh, the palatal vault this is the palatal vault okay so it's made to record the palate okay this is uh, the uh, palatal vault to record the palate okay and then uh, let's talk about the this is the upper let's talk about the lower and also we record of course in the upper we uh, upper uh, uh, upper maxillary impression tray it's used to record the teeth also okay so we record the teeth and the palate uh, by uh, using the uh, palatal vault okay and the flange which we call it the flange area uh, let's go to the uh, shift to the mandibular impression tray impression uh, this is the mandibular impression tray can you, let's look at how it's done okay this is how it's done it must cover all the teeth okay here like this so uh, the mandibular uh, impression tray records the flange area okay uh, and uh, the flange area and the lingual area okay this is the lingual area okay and this is the flange area so the difference between the maxillary impression tray and the mandibular impression tray the maxillary impression tray, tray records the upper teeth okay records the upper teeth okay and the palate okay using the palatal uh, we have in the in the upper maxillary uh, impression tray we have the palatal vault which records the palate okay and the lower uh, mandibular impression tray it's used to record the lingual area okay uh, through the lingual flange so we record the lingual area through the lingual flange okay there is no vault here in the uh, lower okay uh, the vault is only found in the upper impression tray okay let's go to the classification of impression trays uh, the classification uh, uh, impression trays are classified into uh, number one the stock trays and custom trays secondly maxillary trays and mandibular trays okay uh, so we have maxillary and mandibular trays we have dentulous and edentulous okay can you see here the difference between this is eden this is dentulous these are dentulous impression trays can you see this side these this is uh, this is used for dent dentulous with patients with teeth can you see it's a little bit uh, the flange area is higher than the other one okay it's square like at the end can you see it? it's square like Okay, so this is for dentulous patients, patients with teeth, okay? And this is for edentulous, this is edentulous, we call them edentulous trays, and they are used for patients with no teeth, okay? We call them edentulous patients, edentulous patients. Can you see? The flange is much uh, uh, rounded, okay, and shorter. Can you see it's shorter? Okay. 
Uh, so this is the third uh, classification. Then it could be uh, classified into metallic and non-metallic. So can you see these are made of metals? Okay, it could be made of aluminium, stainless steel, and uh, this is the metallic part. And it could be made of non-metallic uh, impression trays like plastic. Okay, this is non-metallic impression trays which is made of plastic. And uh, normally this is plastic is disposable. Okay, this plastic is disposable. Then also we have another classification, perforated and non-perforated. Can you see? Perforated, could be perforated and non-perforated. Can you see? Here, yeah, this is, and this depends on the type of impression I'm going to use, okay? I'm going to tell you, in case of alginate, we use the perforated impression trays, okay? The perforated impression trays, we use the alginate. In case of uh, impression compound, we use the uh, non-perforated impression trays and uh, finally uh, we have another classification which is full arch and sectional uh, impression trays okay full arch impression trays and sectional impression trays let's see here this is full arch can you see it takes the whole teeth it takes we can record the all teeth the whole uh, upper maxillary and lower teeth okay this is called full arch sectional trays this is called sectional if I want part of the teeth to be recorded this is called sectional impression trays can you see the difference okay you can take part of the teeth to record okay if I have some of uh, uh, missing teeth okay so we use this sectional impression trays okay uh, okay, so uh, again, let's uh, revise quickly the classification of impression trays. We said according to materials, it could be stainless steel, metallic and non-metallic. Metallic like stainless steel, like uh, stainless steel, aluminium, and non-metallic like plastics. Okay. Also, according to uh, perforation, uh, perforation. Uh, uh, okay, we can. Uh, have uh, trays that have holes okay in them okay and the function of the holes here uh, the, or the importance of holes uh, the, like for example if we use we have to use if you, in case of uh, alginate okay if we use alginate what's going to happen it will help uh, to uh, to it uh, will help to prevent dislodgement of the mater the impression material okay so impression uh, impression should not dislodge be dislodged from the tray so the, the this is the function of the holes okay uh, so uh, this is really important okay okay and uh, uh, finally sizes it depends also there's another classification which is according to sizes okay small size and large size here it could be classified according to uh, here we have this is number three this is for number three and we have here number two and we have also number one okay so this depends on this jaw size of the patient check uh, so we have to check the size uh, check the this, we have to check the size of the impression uh, on the patient's mouth if it's uh, appropriate or not so each one each patient has a different size uses a different size in of impression tray okay uh, partial impression uh, trays this is we call it partial impression trays okay or sectional uh, singly uh, this is uh, for uh, it could some are made uh, for uh, of plastic and it's single use okay uh, thank you if you have any comments please uh, write them down and uh, thanks uh, for today bye